Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to pick up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Abdergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. What? There's no other button! <laughs> Please! Cold feet? No. No, I don't want to join it. Yeah, okay. Good choice. Welcome That's to the Assassin's choice you gave me. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. They sure do like their videos. <laughs> So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. Palace of Justice. data will have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities here have a look at this uh ooh. just 
guy. Ooh, this guy. Screw peeling. Double assassination. Thick skin. Environmental blending. Okay. Oops. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies. So they'll give you an idea of what our organization's about. Just walk into the glitch and you'll get all the details. I've marked them on your map. Weapons. One-handed. Oh, some of them are lethal and non-lethal. Okay. Oh, cool. You can actually... Okay, you can upgrade them. Much money. Okay, there's my money. Oh wow. Wow, they have a lot of weapons. Whoa, that one's expensive. different options. Okay, so I own this one, this one, and this one. Uh, I think I'm going to choose this one. Oh, maybe I only have one at all times okay oh man I want one of these weapons I don't care about the whole uh, sword thing I want I want a cool looking thing man that must be hard to swing Wait, great claim. Wow, that's a weird looking uh, sword. Great sword. I like the axe um, in one of the versions because you could throw it. Okay, pistols. Oh, I guess I don't have that. Okay, what about rifles? Oh, yeah, I really want a rifle. <laughs> cool. Rifle's one of the things I'm getting. Wait, non-lethal? Non-lethal? Non really? You'd be surprised at how lethal those things are. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
I'll do this part off camera. Active skills. Okay. Spear. See what the spear is like. Oh, there's a bell here. <laughs> That's awesome. Jump and slash. <gasps> I might try some online stuff. What's the mission? Mission. Get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, Piss Pop. I live to serve. Uh, more, more difficult than so many enemies or player else. Okay. whistle thing. me to cover kills. I might get it later on though, the uh, the whole uh, pulling, uh, the, the whole whistling thing. Just checking out the balls. Some things do not ride. Well, come check it out! Right, come here, you. I guess it was nothing. Better get back. 
No, come here. Really want to try out this spear. They don't seem to care. Well, I doubt they're going to remember me now. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation. What about the priest? You'll come around. <laughs> Your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. It looks like the penguin. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I... Oh! Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Next time, do that before he starts screaming. Why do we hang about here when Sivert still lives? He killed Monsieur de la Serre! Patience. Sivert is not the target. Not today. Come on. Council's waiting for our report. Okay. Fuck it! That's a lot of bastards! Give them a smoke bomb and slip away while they're jumping! Oh. Oh. Get past all of us! I like that you can have your own weapon. Tobacco. It's not good for you. Oh, I could have gone up this way without murdering people. Oh, well. Yeah, I like the reach. I like having a weapon with reach. But yeah, it looks like I can only have one. Uh, maybe I unlocked them later on. Ah. Oh, man! Okay. Seems extreme. Where do you think you're going, Maggot? Merde. Patriots. These imbeciles will pick a fight with anyone. Oh. To draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, piss -pop. Well, there's a cheery thought. <laughs> Dreamers and Red Hirsch Okay. I am sorry, I cannot let innocent people die.
I'm an elite recruit. Careful, Pistol. You'll hurt someone. Man, he can really jump. I'll still be running when you're dead. still be running when you're dead stop saying that you know I'm I'm like in front of you right you call that a run go 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 who is this I'm enjoying this already. Just trying not I wish there was like heart. boats. <laughs> they they meet, need to make Pirates Creed. I can't believe this. We've not seen Sea there for a year, and you're letting him walk, all because his name wasn't on a bloody piece of paper. The timing's not right. Too many variables, too many loose threads. And if we lose him again, he'll be at Notre Dame tomorrow. Keeps to the schedule we've. Uh, okay. Okay. So what happens next? We take this ledger full of Templar records to Mirabeau. Proceeds Three to more Templars were killed last night. Wasn't they don't seem terribly Templars fond of him. Killing each other like it was going out He's of a politician. He sees himself as a great peacemaker. What does complicate? He thinks he can end the war between assassins and Templars. Bring the revolution to a happy conclusion. And convince dogs and cats to live together in peace. And that's bad? It's a self-aggrandizing pipe dream. The Templars are at their weakest since Jacques de Malay burned. We're running around after second-rate smugglers. All because Mir... Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpinot's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damned truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. I've done him all I can. Boy's ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Siver. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace. In accordance with our tenets. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Okay. Next. <laughs>